Hi folks, in this um, tutorial um, we're going to look at using your uh, your camera phone in a bit more detail. Um, we're going to look at taking some, uh, some photographs and we're going to look at how to frame them uh, and we're going to look how to also a little bit of editing as well. Um, so we're going to start with uh, taking some photos, the shapes and patterns uh, in your home. Okay, also one thing to remember is, obviously we're taking close-ups of uh, objects, but don't get too close, as your camera may, may blur. You can see that my camera on my phone is trying to adjust the focus uh, every, time I, every time I move it. Every now and again it will, look, it's trying to adjust itself. Is it going to focus here? Is it going to focus here? Uh, if you don't hold it still and allow it to do that, then you could end up with a blurred image. Also in the camera app, um, you can. I'm going to. I'm going to make sure that I've got my live um, shoot turned off. You can see that if I tap the button at the top there, it says live. Um, this is obviously on an iPhone. There might probably something similar on an Android phone, but I'm going to turn that off. Um, and then it won't be taking multiple multiple shots of the same image and it kind of gives you that little strip of live kind of image to play with. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so we're going to use this uh, picture frame as an example um, of framing your photograph. First of all, we're going to make sure we've got our camera held firmly in our hands. I'm holding mine in both hands. I've kind of cut my hands around the photo so it's not going to be all shaky and wobbly. I hold it very still. I'm going to press the um, to take the photo. I'm going to press the button with my index finger. So let's just look at ways of framing this. One thing to consider is you've got a plain background where you've got nothing in the background. So whatever you're going to take, if you're going to be close up, try and keep you know, if there's another picture here or if there's something pattern on the wall, maybe try and keep that out of the frame. So you don't want anything like my hand here, anything sticking into the frame from, from different positions. You want to try and get rid of that. You can get rid of that later, obviously, in Photoshop, but obviously it's better if you haven't got that image in shot already. So first of all, we're going to look at framing. So one way to frame is to imagine there's a grid on your screen. Now some photo apps have this grid built in, but the uh, the photo app on um, the on my iPhone doesn't. So we're going to imagine it. So the first way I could frame this picture is I could divide the screen into quarters. Okay. So imagine there's a half, there's a line down the center of the screen vertically and a line horizontally. So if I get the frame into shot there and take a photograph of that, hold it very still, then we can see that I've taken a photo of uh, I've taken a photo of that, and you can see that the the shape it creates quite an interesting shape. I, I quite like that the way it's divided into those kind of um, kind of rotated L shapes and you've got the rectangle in the bottom right hand corner but you can see I've divided the shot horizontally in half and vertically uh, in, in half also. So back to taking a photo. So this time with the same the picture frame I'm going to divide it into thirds. So this is the, called the rule of thirds. Um, this is just a, a way of making your photos uh, again uh, look more aesthetically balanced and aesthetically pleasing. So if you imagine that vertically the screen is divided into three and horizontally it's divided into three, then what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to place the, the, this part of the frame in the right hand third and I place the, the, the horizontal part of the frame in the, uh, the top third. See what we get. Hold it very still. There we go. Again, I'm pleased with that. I've got, I quite like the shadow as well on the frame. Adds a little bit of texture to it, uh, a little bit of depth. And you can see that if we, if you imagine that the screen is divided into thirds, so I've got the kind of the horizontal part of the frame in the top third, and I've got the, the vertical part of the frame in, I suppose it's almost in the half, but I've got it into the right hand third uh, of the frame as well. Uh, with my frame, I'm quite interested in the fact that you've got a part of the image here. I'm going to include that on this picture. And this picture, I'm going to divide it into vertically into quarters. So one, two, three, four. 
and then I'm going to use the kind of and divide this uh, part of the, the frame into uh, into halves, the top half and the bottom half. So you can see that I'm purposely thinking about how the image is laid out or how the image is composed on the screen, not just taking a photograph quickly. There we go. Okay, so we can see that. Yeah, that works really well. So we've got kind of concentric rectangles, um, again, creating those kind of L kind of shapes. Um, we've got the picture on the right hand side. Uh, as a rectangle and then we've got the kind of L shapes it's like a concept, concentric set of rectangles coming out from the bottom right hand part, part of the of the frame I really like that so now we're going to move on to something slightly different um, handles are a good uh, way of creating a shape or a pattern um, I've got this kind of shoe uh, box shoe storage system and I quite like the look I like the shape of the, 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 the uh, this opening creates this handle creates so I'm just going to use that now again I could frame this in different ways so using the rule of thirds that I was talking about earlier so dividing the screen or imagining the screen is divided into three I could take a photograph or frame the photograph something like that so that that handle is in this kind of top third of the screen so I'll just take that again I'm holding it with both hands holding it very still I've cupped my hands around the phone I'm actually kneeling down I've got my arm lent on my knee so which steadies me even more using my index finger to take the photograph there we go so going to the photograph yeah I'm happy with that almost looks like a bit of a mouth a bit of a smile um, so you can see that that handle now or the, the shape created in the top half is about a third of the screen or third of the frame so another way to frame that would be to you to frame that in the center again I'm looking to get the handle into the center vertically and horizontally at the same time so if I very steady take a photograph like that again it's good practice to go into your camera roll just to check the photo to make sure it's what you you want it to be I'm happy with that you can see that it's centered so you can see that I'm not I'm not including anything around the sides here I'm not taking it off off here so I've got the door in the way um, if I, you know obviously if you wanted to create a pattern or, or shape that has uh, part of a background in uh, fine but make sure that you frame it in a way that so that it becomes part of your composition and isn't isn't just kind of there hanging around in the background um, so for this one I'm going to come out a little bit and I'm going to frame this line here is going to be in the center and this part here is going to be probably a quarter so one two three four if I divided the screen into a quarter vertically I want the shape slight shape of a handle I'm getting a bit of a you see I'm getting a light switch in there I don't want that in the image so I'm just going to manipulate and move my camera around so that it isn't there move back a little bit so positioning positioning yourself as well is very important that you move back and forth I'm happy with that let's have a look at that in there yeah I'm quite I'm quite happy with that not as good as my other two so folks things to remember when you're taking photos with your camera make sure you hold the camera still in the videos I was taking I was holding it like this and I was pressing the, the button with my, with my index finger, but I was holding it with both hands. So I was holding it very, very still. Don't get too close, as you'll find that your image will blur. Let the camera adjust to what the image you're taking. So hold it there for a minute, just hold it still. Don't go in too quick and take the photograph and pull back. Um, think about your composition and your framing whatever it is you're taking so remember the rule of thirds divide the screen into three strips horizontally or vertically or you can divide it into halves or quarters um, but think very carefully about the composition and the framing of your subject whatever it is you're taking and then also try not to include any other any other objects um, in the background with these images um, because you're trying to create this pattern or this shape 
um, using objects in, in, in the house. So try not to include anything else that's in the background that interferes with that shape or that pattern. Okay, good luck.